Okay, hello everybody. So today we're going to make a summary about the main things that we have seen until now, until today. So this is an English class, a summary about the unit number one, people and our beliefs, okay? Just for you to remember, in English, we practice four main skills. We practice the listening, we practice the speaking, we practice the reading, and we practice the writing. These four skills, we have been working them through the worksheets that I have sent you. Every worksheet is developing one skill, so it's very important that you complete them and work on them. Also, these worksheets are based in our book. This is the book that we're using now, and this is the unit that we have been working. I'm going to give you now some tips, some suggestions for you to practice at home, to practice the four skills at home. To practice the listening comprehension, you can listen to music, you can watch movies, you can watch videos, but everything in English. This is why I'm not speaking Spanish now, so I'm speaking English for you to practice it, okay? To practice the reading comprehension, you can read short stories, you can read news, you can read the lyrics, lyrics of a song you like, you can read the transcriptions of a movie, or you can read a comic. Whatever you read, it is important that you understand, that you get the main idea of what you're reading. This is the last text that you have to read in one of my worksheets. So at the moment of reading, remember that you have to underline, circle, or whatever, or whatever you want to do with the word, but you have to look for the meaning of it. For example, if I don't understand the word music, I don't know what is music. I look for it in the online dictionary and I look for the meaning of the word music, okay? I can translate it into Spanish, I can look for the meaning, I can read example, whatever you want to do, but you need to understand every word of a text for you to get new vocabulary, okay? So, you're going to read it down, the title of the text, you're going to look for the words that you don't understand. You're going to start reading line sentence by sentence. Then you're going to read paragraph by paragraph until you understand the main idea of the whole text. But it's important that you read in English, okay? To practice the oral expression, the, one of the activities that we have done was Repeating tongue twister. Tongue twisters will help you to practice different sounds according to your level. So I sent you a tongue twister according to the sounds that you have to pronounce well. You can sing in English at home or you can repeat dialogues, but it's very important that you speak in English. Remember that the best way to practice it fluently is to practice speaking English, okay? To practice writing, writing is a little bit for you difficult or boring, but you have to do it. So I suggest you to complete and write following models. Complete sentences, then do it by yourselves, or in case you want, you can download, there are many apps to learn English, but one of the most useful is Duolingo. You can download it and you can write words in English, you can listen words, you can speak through the cell phone to practice your English level. Or in case you don't want to do that, you can rewrite vocabulary from your book. But I suggest you to use this. Remember that any career that you want to study, you have to know English. You have to speak or you have to write or you have to um, listen in English to understand, develop many skills, but you have to learn English and practice it. 
Now let's go to the main contents that we have seen until now. And this is the use of if, the if sentences. We use if sentences to describe situations when we think that we think are possible in the present or future, as well as to describe general truths. If means C, but it's a conditional C. It's not the same to say yes than to say if. They are completely different. If, C, the condicionalidad. For example, if you cook food with peanuts, I will have an allergic reaction. Si tú cocinas con maní, tendré una reacción alérgica. If, C, but it's a conditional C. It's not the same as yes, they are different. Please don't forget that. Okay? This is the language in use. Now let's remember something very important that you sometimes forget. That are the question words. Don't forget that always when you have to read a text, I ask you questions. And you have to understand what the question is saying to answer. We have what, where for a place, when, who for a person, why. When I ask why, I answer with because. Which, when I have to choose, and how to answer about details about something, okay? How? Practice this at home because in every text that I send you, I ask you questions and you have to know how to answer them, okay? Guys, in case you don't understand something, please write me to my email. I don't have received many emails with your questions. Please do it. If you don't understand something, if you don't understand an activity, write me, miss. Sorry, I don't understand. Or could you explain me this? But please write me and don't forget to send me your activities for me to check that you're really practicing English, okay? Bye-bye.